It's the Chevy Bricktown Showcase. This week on the Chevy Bricktown Showcase, it's part two with electro glam rock band Kite Flying Robot, presented by fellow musicians FM Pilots. Hey guys, we're at Tapworks. We're about to hang out with an awesome band called Kite Flying Robot. Let's go. I played in bands for you know 15 years, and you start your first band, and you're like, oh, we're gonna make it, and in like a month, we're gonna be like huge. And you learn that's pretty inaccurate, pretty fast. So uh, I don't know. I don't think we really have any delusions like we're gonna get like really huge, you know. And making it anyway these days, getting signed, that doesn't mean that you're gonna have any money. You still have to work. go about the business? Do you guys pay each other individually or does, do we all contribute each other? Uh, well, for recording, I put the bill for everything and then at shows, we generally um, divide up everything. Mm -hmm. Any other expenses, like at South by Southwest, we had to pay for parking, so we took that out of what we got paid and I think we had uh, $15 each uh, <laughs> after uh, gas for two cars and parking. You came out ahead. So, yeah. <laughs> success as a band um, are, I don't know, it's getting a lot more realistic and a lot more honest. With, uh, I don't know, record sales dropping and uh, the larger companies that are in charge of media, things are getting more difficult for them and it's getting a lot easier to be a regional band and have a fan base and have music out there and you know it's not going to come with a lot of money but the, the, the options for longevity are there and as long as you keep playing live shows and stay active, create new material, be a musician, um, it's, I mean, it's completely feasible to do it for 30 years, save money, to have a family, and do everything. That, as long as people easy. are coming to shows, that's yeah. a good sign. For more on the artists, free music downloads, and more, visit welcometobricktown.com.